In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for Sc, that's scandium. So the first thing we note when we look at the periodic table, scandium is a neutral element, it doesn't have a negative or a positive sign. So we can look at the atomic number here. This is the number of protons. Since it's neutral, that'll equal the number of electrons. So in our electron configuration for scandium, we'll have 21 total electrons. So we can use this little chart here, or we could just use the periodic table. Either way, you'll get the correct answer. Let's use the periodic table. I think that helps us understand the patterns a lot better. So we'll start out, we have 1s1, 1s2. S only holds up to 2, so we have 1s2. And then we go to 2s1, 2s2. We go over to 2p, and p can hold up to 6. So we have 2p6. So far, we've used 10 electrons. We have 21. After 2p, we go to 3s2. 3p6 here. And at this point, we have 18. We'll go to from 3p to 4s2. That's 20. And then finally, we come over here to 3d. And we only need one more. So we'll have 3d1. And this is the electron configuration for scandium. You'll note that I could have figured out this last term right away. So we'll move this over here. Here's scandium. It's 3d. It's the first one, so 3d1. I know it's going to end in 3d1. You'll often see the 4s2 here put after the 3d1. That's okay as well. Often we'll write the condensed notation, the condensed electron notation. So we go back and we find the noble gas that was before scandium. That's back here. This would be argon. So we're going to put brackets, AR, and then we look at the configuration for argon, that would be just like this here. So instead of writing all this, we just write argon in brackets, and then we'll put this here after that. And this would be the condensed electron notation for scandium. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for SC scandium. Thanks for watching.